Hello fishos, my name's Jason and welcome to Attic Tackle How To's. Uh, look, this week I'm going to give you a quick rundown on your roller bearing on your reels. Um, certain uh, situations, you're throwing a lure, slow gentle wind in and you're getting this ridiculous grinding noise. Uh, a lot of people pick it straight away, some people can't, but I'm going to show you how basic and simple it is to check and uh, replace. So obviously we've got our little flat bladed screw on the front section of our reel here on our bail arm which we're going to undo. As we're undoing it, I recommend everyone you pinch the section and squeeze it all together so nothing comes apart in one go on you. So I'll get this screw out. Alright, screw's removed. I will gently lever the bail arm forward and it'll keep everything assembled in one piece. You'll get a fix of washers, you've got a washer plate down the bottom here and you've got a group of little washers in the system up the top. They will all come off together and as you can see it's a complete assembly. So I will have one spacer down here. If you're not sure just take a quick picture on your phone. You can release it, let it go. Um, so I've got a back spacer on the back side and I've got a front spacer on the front side. So I'll eliminate those guys. Certain two positions there will be a bigger section a shallower section and a deep section so to speak. So the shallower section always faces away from the bail arm. You flip your over, you'll see your bearing on the inside, a gentle push out and out she comes. Simple replacement, you'll get your new replacement bearing. I'll put that back in the assembly, make sure everything's clean. Right, before I reassemble I'll get a little dab of my grease and I'll put it on both sides of the bearing and my bail arm. And all that does, it looks ugly at the moment while it's dirty, but it gives us a little bit more water protrusion to double the life out of that bearing. So reassemble the same way you took it apart. Quite simple. My spacer on. Lever back in my bail arm assembly. There will be a little locator key in there. It just falls in one way, so you can't go wrong. Screw back in. Take all the slack up and a nice gentle nip up. There's no reason to crack that super tight. Um, some have Loctite, as you saw on that one, that stays on there. Um, if the Loctite does come off, you can put another dab of a little bit as you go. Wipe all your excess off. Get yourself a little bit of braid. Do your test run. Make sure everything's rolling nice, smooth and quiet. Um, quick one on general reel maintenance for you guys. Um, for your basic reels up to a certain uh, amount of high-end reels, it will exclude your mag seal diwas um, and things like that, which uh, for me, uh, I don't tend to like them because we can't service them ourselves. You're limited to diwa and all that. So I'll give you a basic rundown, little Shimano, quite easy. Uh, it'll give you a bit of preventative maintenance to keep that reel prolonged until you do need a proper service at the service time. But Quite simple, um, basically what I do is I'll do my roller and my bail arm on that first, so little pivot points on your reel, your uh, bail joints and all that. Get yourself a decent little fine oil and just on your joints, give them a bit of oil, quite simple, three or four times. Flip everything backward and forward. You can do this at home, it's super simple. Uh, when I do do that, I will give them a wipe down as well, at the same time, stop oil going everywhere. So you can do things like that, you can remove your handle, remove your side caps, you can put a drop on your bearings on the inside and rotate your reel at the same time. And generally you'll feel the reel start to come good uh, when you do those few things. So I'll do that on that side, I'll do that on the opposite side, spin it again. Some reels with one way clutches, you'll back them off and go the opposite way, so it just works a fresh load of grease in there gets rid of any salt that's in there to start uh, crystallising and forming and all that sort of stuff. So quite a simple concept. Um, this week I'm going to touch base on a little bit of drag maintenance on your spin gear. 90% um, of your spin reels, quite simple concept, you can do it at home. Um, if you don't have the confidence and you're not sure, come down and say good day, and I'll guide you through it. But basically we've got a little release clip on the top of our drag plates there. The drag stack, if you get a pair of tweezers, a little screwdriver, nine times out of ten you can pull them out in one go if they've got grease in there ready to go. The reason why we do these 
if they're ignored for a long time, salt will get in there and all your plates and all your washers will stick together and you get yourself a process of your plate, your washer, your plate, your washer. It can be a bit dirty sometimes. And as you can see, simple. Metal, washer, metal, washer, metal, washer. So keep that in, in mind. If you're not sure, simple picture on your phone and you'll be good as gold. So these guys are quite good. This is just more a demo purpose. If they are dirty and corroded away, I will use a little bit of white spirit to clean them away. And then with the Shimano's, I like using the original grease for the drag systems. Your Daiwa, use the original grease. You can cross-reference both grease between reels. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'll clean the pores out on my washers. Make sure all your plates are nice and clean, which I'll do as I go now. And it just stops that build-up of corrosion. You do this once a year, get into a habit of doing it. Um, you pick up your gear and go fishing, you won't have that worry of that eh, 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 drag washer when you're under, under load on a good fish. One, two, and three. So basically, in this application, on this reel, and you do wipe everything out, obviously. This reel is looking quite good. Applications, I do use DGO4 for this guy, the Ace 2 grease from Shimano, which is spectacular stuff. Um, makes any drag system dance. It's really good. High temperatures. Can be a bit nitty, a bit tacky. Same, so I put grease on both sides of that. I lube up my plates. Little keyway on those, so you've got keyway slots inside the spool, so it's common sense. You just follow it as it goes. Don't be afraid to get your fingers dirty because you're working that grease in those pores on those washers. Top plate on. Don't be afraid to work it in. locations back on the top and then your little circlip straight back in the hole so in that situation when you are working with a lot of grease it is good to put a bit of uh, thread tape around your spool to cover your braid and all that so you don't create any uh, other sort of contaminants once I've got the top section done I'll put it back on my on my reel and very detrimental is your top adjuster for your drag they've all got a rubber plate and a wash rubber washer on there you always put a bit of grease on there helps with a nice uh, smoother adjustment and it's back to that water penetration point all back on and that's a simple drag service that everyone can do it's quite simple to do at home give it a go thanks for watching the video guys please subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the notifications bell there so you'll know every time we send out a new how-to video, we just wanna help you guys catch more fish more often. So uh, enjoy the videos and please subscribe.